The match against Texas at Texas in 2005 was really significant because it was the first time two top 10 teams really had to meet in the second round of the NCAA playoffs. I know both coaches were upset about that and I don't think it really trickled down to the players but um, it was a really nervous time because we had to go to Texas and I believe we were rated higher than Texas. The match started out poorly and, and we lost the first game but we managed to come back and really dominate uh, Texas uh, in the second, third and fourth games. I remember that Jamie Houston had a huge night, over 20 kills, hit over 50% as a freshman. And uh, we were fortunate to win that on my birthday and get to advance to a, a regional in Penn State that year. The 1987 regional final was played in Clum Gym against Pacific, and Pacific had really denied us the previous two years. I think they won the national championship previous two years and they were a powerhouse. But that night it was just magical and clum Jim. I believe it was raining and uh, the roof leaked and so we had to stop play um, and wipe up the floor almost after every play. Uh, John Dunning, the coach at Pacific at the time was not happy about this and our, our crowd kind of got on him for this but in the end, Hawaii prevailed. Suzanne Agee blocked the last ball and it fell very, very softly to the floor at the back, on the back line and the place just went crazy. The regional semifinal game in the year 2000 was really a big match for us. We played Long Beach State, who had beaten us uh, earlier in the year and really ended our undefeated season. And Long Beach State had really been a nemesis for us in the 80s and the 90s. They put us out of the NCAA tournament uh, more times than I care to remember. So it was a big match and they had a great team. We had a great team too. So, um, you know, I think the stand sheriff was uh, full. But uh, it was pretty evenly played for four games. Uh, going into the fifth, it was, you know, could have gone either way. But we dominated the fifth game. Um, and I just remember the last point I think Lily Kahumoku blocked the ball and it went high in the air and uh, Long Beach State, the whole team froze and let it drop to the floor for our 15th point and uh, it was pretty sweet to, to get some revenge on Long Beach State. Well, in 2002, uh, we were ranked something like third or fourth in the country, but when the seedings came out, we were number six and number six had to go play at number three, Nebraska. We all felt that we got slighted there again by the NCAA having to travel to a really tough place to play. Uh, Nebraska's really, really hard to beat at their place. It's a small venue, but they pack it in. Uh, so again, you know, we're not feeling great about having to go there, but we came up big in that match, and uh, I guess it was somewhat of an upset to beat Nebraska there, but uh, it's one of the sweeter victories. And I just remember Charlie Wade just picking me up and swing me like, swinging me like a rag doll around after we beat him, and uh, it was just such a great win, and uh, you know, that gave us a berth in the Final Four that year. Yeah, the championship match in 1983 was against UCLA. Uh, we had a great team. Uh, we had won the previous year in 1982, and uh, this was a veteran team with a bunch of seniors, and we pretty much dominated the whole year. And uh, the NCAA final match against UCLA in Lexington, Kentucky, of all places, uh, there was only about 2,000 people in the stands, as I remember, but uh, it was a pretty boring match, actually, because we dominated so much, and uh, you know, that, that, that was just showed how great this team really was, uh, culminating you know, two straight years of winning the NCAA championship.